So it is quite progressive from level three. So we did the step kicks at the start, now we do the leaps at the start. So in that respect, the order is pretty much the same for level three and four, and then five and six, the skill order is the same. Make sure you hold relevé for two after that. So in fifth. And most of this dance comes from the level four routines. So you can have that layover. So if you take the time to teach the floor routine with artistry, it'll come onto the beam for you. So your child might not get to the end of the beam yet. That's fine. This is the first routine where they actually do a bit of side dance. So if you have a look, this is where, especially young kids, they might wobble. So to your complex now, you might want to start adding bits of side dance. Um, it's something that the FIG want rather than lots of half turns on two feet. So just have another look. Um, little kids will probably wobble on this. So I'd really work their confidence on being side onto the beam. So there is a transfer of weight. And see, Bailey does a little like switch of her feet for her dismount. You wanna have another look? So she obviously likes to do a backward straight jump with her right foot in front. Um, I would actually get them to do it with the foot that they will do cartwheel step in from, because obviously it's cartwheel step in straight jump progression or round off double back, whatever. We look long term. So I would make sure they're doing that straight jump if they're a lefty, that they've got their left foot in front, whatever works for them, yep. Um, and just, Bailey does do a little bit of a switch so she can get her right foot in front. It's quite clean, you don't even really, like it doesn't take away from the tempo at all. So transfer of weight, it's a quarter turn on relevé and then she just switches the foot behind. Do another look. I would make sure to teach that quarter turn on the relevé Otherwise, it won't look very nice. Yeah, you want the whole thing? All right. So the mount's the same as your level three. Make sure your straddle is held. They come up from the pike the same, but it's just a different bit of arms before the leaps instead of the kicks. The arms are held back the whole time. So some of us, we used to do that. Yeah, so the arms are held back the whole time. You might want to change that. So this is a passe half, half. And then hold relevé on fifth. It's not on the video, but pop that in. There's a lot of fondue work, which is good for their leap preparation. So it's a straight jump, split jump for this one. So this hand stands to step in, so make sure you go to step in and then switch the feet if you need. Yeah, do you want one more? One more, no, yes. Yeah, if you buy the manual you can watch it, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, this routine has a lot of, um, it's not as much fondue work as the level three, but there is a lot of fourth position where the weight is evenly distributed. Um, it's the same in the floor routines for level four. So just teach your kids that, you know, when you're in this position, your centre of gravity should be right through the middle. Um, and then there's a lot of like flicking. And if it's a passe, make sure it's a passe. This just looks nothing. So really get them to work the passe. Their turns will be better for it. Their turns will look more artistic. So just be quite specific with where their legs and arms are. Let's have a look at level five. Any questions on level four? No. Nope. The text is spot on. It's pretty clear. Um, I just really just, there's pictures. So this is where we start having different elements that we can add. So this one, Bailey's gonna do a TikTok. So does that straddle hold need to be before? Five, yeah. That's from the floor routine. So it might look crazy for beam, but it's from the floor routine. So you can add that in. Her arms will finish there and she'll dance from there. Do 
And this must have the two second relevé hold after. It's not on the video, but make sure you pop it in. Yeah, in the text. So this full handstand to step in, that handstand might have to be held, I think. Three seconds, yeah. So you've got more dance on the side again. So a progression from level four. Straight jump, split jump again. So that was a passe releve and then you step behind. So you might want to add a bit of that into your complex now. That bit we might need to work on. So really staying low in the fondues there. And then punch front, or you might cut with straight jump at level four. Yep, either or. Do you want to have another look? Oh, this is with the cartwheel. Let's keep watching. So the dance, in the text, it says, if you do a TikTok, do it this way. Like the dance, if you do the cartwheel, this is how you do the dance. If you do a back walkover, this is how you do the dance. It says for every skill how to do the dance. So you don't really need to think about it too much. So a lot of deep fondue work. Oh, sorry. So just a, yeah, yeah, yeah. So a plie on one leg. So you think, if you, when you land your split leap, so sorry, and you're all bending on one leg. Yeah, all the dance incorporates that. So if you're teaching your routine, I am a bit anal when I teach it, so the kids will probably be holding this for 10 seconds. Think of it as strength, because it's the same as when they land their split leap. So there's a block there in the manual, all those turns in there. Yep, sorry, just ask if I get carried away. Yeah. So you don't have to hold the arabesque after your split leap, but move through the arabesque. So they don't hold it and we're not asking for a hold, but move through the position. And then there's your cartwheel straight jump. I think that's all for level five. There's the section then, once you get a copy of the manual, there's then so you have the level five beam, which I just showed you, and then it's sectioned, which when I was teaching myself, I found it easy to watch the sectioned video. Like I had Zoe going so slow, like my finger got sore because I was like, how did she move that leg? Like going back and forth. Yeah, so take the time to teach yourself um, and then, you know, even you might put it on your iPad and have your iPad in the gym and show the girls as you go, oh my gosh, I've forgotten it. And she go, girls, we're just going to have a little look. And you're like, oh yeah, that's right. She did it like that. Okay. So it was like this. Yeah. So you might want to incorporate that into your, um, I did that with the girls yesterday. We workshopped the backward roll to headstand in the level six floor. And I just showed the girls the iPad and gave them some safety points. And then they, they did it like in 10 minutes. Oh, here we go. Section two. So this will be for your back walkover, which must start in the middle of the beam. So then you end up in the center of the beam. So the location of the mount has been changed. Yep, so there you just straighten the front leg. So you're in a fourth position with the center of gravity on both legs, balance of support. So this is for TikTok or front walkover maybe. Oh, it could be. Oh, it could be. <laughs> Yeah, cartwheel. So this one is where you do a half turn on releve so you can finish facing the dismount end. The arms will stay there for the half turn to keep the artistry and the flow. And then this is your option for TikTok or forward walkover. I think for TikTok you might have to start in a little bit because you don't travel as much as a forward walkover. Whereas the forward walkover you'll need to start at the end. So that's your forward walkover. And then it's pretty much the same as your back walkover. So you finish in the same spot. Oh, you might even do it for the TikTok. I might do this. I don't know. It might seem daunting, but once you do it a few times and you get your head around it, it's really not that, actually not that bad. <laughs> yeah, so that was your TikTok. Yeah, so just start further in for the TikTok. Yeah. But then if you have a kid with tight shoulders, their TikTok might be like quite long. <laughs> All right, so does everyone understand how to change that bit? Yep, yep. And then for the dismount, you do front salt or cart with straight jump, but both start in the same direction. Uh, it's level six where you can do flip, straight jump, 
where you have to change the dance because obviously you need to start facing away from the dismount to do your flip. Yep, so level five, the dismount, you don't have to change the dance, it's just the first bit of acro. All right. What we're going to do, we do have time, we're going to jump into groups and we're going to try and work on the little bits. So one group we're going to do the cartwheel step in, one group we're going to go forward walk over, one group go backward walk over. Yep, yep. Do you want to just jump in groups, random or with your friends, whatever floats. Here, so from the tuck. So you come up, pull back, and then step, fondue, and then kick, kick. And then you pull back, whatever leg you need for back walk over. Yeah, again. Do you want it slow? I don't know how to do slow mo here. So you should have, does that work? Yeah, so the arms are pressed up and back. You're bending through the support leg, so your back leg, front foot pointed. Yep, chin lifted. And then you transfer the leg behind. So the center, the base of support is the same. And then you flick the back leg. One, two. And then step back onto the back leg. And that should be your leg for back walkover. If it's not, we need to start with a different leg from the pike. Yeah? Yep. Do you want to go again? Here. So you've got your tuck. So if you want to do a different leg back walk over, so Zoe does right leg. If you want to do left, start the pike on the left. Yep. And then your back arm comes back, so the same leg that's in front. Yep. So if you're, so that Zoe's got, that's the right, this is the left. Yep. Guys, you have the DVD, it's all good. <laughs> just, we're just trying to get your ideas on how you can transition. And then step forward, bend the support leg so the arms just swing up. If you wanna just leave the arms out for now, that's fine. You can just work the legs. Keep the weight on that leg as you bring the front leg behind, the arms come down. This is in the floor routine, which we'll learn later as well. Then you kick behind, step back, and then you should be able to back walk over from there. Yes? You can walk over from there? Yeah. Yay! One more time. Got it? And then behind, flick, flick. Step back, and you're ready to walk over. Ta da! All right. That first part of the dance is the same regardless of what skill you do next. So, do you want to learn for cartwheel now? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah? All right, ready for cartwheel. Let me find it though. I'll run down in the break if I need to. I'll be, yeah. So, this is from the end of the back walk over. We'll leave that for now. Ready? So this is your cartwheel. Oh, the dance is exactly the same. Exactly the same. And then step back. That should be a cartwheel leg. Just a different spot. Yeah. So don't start in the middle of the beam. Yeah. You good with that? All right. Let's have a look at out of the back walkover. So it'll be about here. So you go back walk over. Yeah, you've got to get rid of that. So the back walk over the arms will finish forward, palms face down. The weight will be in both feet at the moment. You will straighten the back the front leg as the arms swing around and to your face. Yep. So the weight should be in both legs. The front foot is turned out. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, again. I think that was about 34. So you finish there. The arms swing down and around as you straighten the front leg and then pull into your face. Yeah. Cool. You've done back walkover. All right, let's have a look from the cartwheels to lunge. So finish in lunge. So same finish position as your back walkover, arms forward. Your arms will swing around, but I think you pull up to releve. Okay. Oh no, you can still go to fourth first and then releve with the arms there. This is your bit. Hang it. That's for your back walkover. All right, let's go from the cut. We'll step in. So the dance before. So pull up tall, arms around. 
Yep. Bend both legs. Point the front toe, but the weight, so the weight should be quite heavily through the back leg. So the front toe is really light in support. They'll have to use their quads and their glutes. Great for your landings. And then step forward, arm sweep up. Again, weight through the back leg. The heel should be pressing really strong through the floor. And then they flick back, still keep the bend. And then flick, flick, step back, pull up. So you're gonna go cartwheel to lunge. Da, 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 da. From there, sweep arms up, straighten the front leg. So arms sweep around and then lower to passe. This is still a half half at level five. So still have the two second releve hold on fifth at the end. The arms day by side. So here you'll finish on releve. Yep. And then step forward. This is like the one skill we actually present. Yeah. The only skill pretty much. And split leap. And split, split leap. But and you'll notice it's exactly the same present for both. You releve to the side. So make sure that is a quarter turn. And then they should finish with their feet wide enough that they should feel quite stable on the side of the beam. Like some kids have never worked the side of the beam, so they'll wobble and sway. Um, but if you look back, Zoe did a releve turn, so that legs end up with quite a wide base of support for you. Then the shoulders shrug. The front leg came behind through passe. Sorry. Jump and jump, land. The front leg comes through passe to fourth. And then flick, flick. There are like 50 million fourths. <laughs> Ready? From there. Oh, are you right for the next section? Yep. It's okay, go through the, it goes through that bit. Yeah, it will, it will be right. This will show you that bit again. So flick, flick. Then you pull up on the back leg and you should be able to leap from there. Yep, so two or three steps leap. Is everyone right with that leg? Two or three steps leap. You work through the arabesque, step forward to have the weight on the front leg, back, load, back foot pointed behind. Yep, we will dance from there. Oh, that's your body roll up to releve. Yep. Oh, with this one, I would teach without the arms and then add the arms. Yeah. And I'd teach it on flat and then go to releve. So you bend through the both legs with the releve. So if you, yeah, learn it on flat, then learn it with the arms, then add the releve, then add the arms. Yeah. Oh. Okay, this bit, we do two or three steps on releve with arm movement. So we're not just walking on releve. They're quite quick as well. So notice the tempo change. This is up and hold and then one, two, three and turn four. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, yeah. You want one more time? Oh, way too fast, sorry guys. So from your leap and body roll up and then one, two, three and turn four. And then we have fourth again. <laughs> so lower the front foot out to fourth. Yep. It's a nice stable position. So, <laughs> so the kids are going to love it. The arms are by your side. Oh, another fondue. So weights on the back leg, sit really heavy through the back leg so the front, the knees can be together. The palms are out, the chin is really lifted and the chest is really open, but the core is still engaged so the, you're protecting the lower back. Then step forward, the arms drop down. This is from the floor routine. Oh, and then you dismount. So if you dismount, cartwheel straight jump, You'll just step, bring the arms up, cart will step in, straight jump. So that's level five. We'll quickly have a look at level six. Now with level six, so you can sit back down, we'll just have a look at level six. Um, 
Um, with level six, it's optional or compulsory. It is mentioned many times through this manual, so I feel like they really want to make a point of this. You can't choose things from the compulsory and put it in an optional or put a little bit of optional in the compulsory. It's very black and white. It's mentioned, yeah, many times. Um, so make sure, don't take anything from the compulsories. If you are doing optional, do optional. And then if you're doing compulsory, follow the text. Um, it was also, I got an email this morning about a couple of the changes that they need to make to the manual. And one thing that was specifically said was that the choreography must still have artistry if you're going to go optional. So in section uh, 4.2, does anyone, no one has a manual? Okay, I'll read it out. Um, 4.2, there's a specific section on if for level three to six, if you don't do the optionals and you, uh, if you don't do compulsory and you do optional. So, you must, uh, yeah, you must show artistry if you choose an optional routine. Um, yeah, that's all it really says. Okay, but it harps on a lot about it. So you can get artistic deductions if the routine you chose does not have flow and rhythm and expression and tempo. So if you're not sure that you can create a routine with tempo and artistry, use the optionals, I mean, use the compulsories that's there for you. It makes sure that everything is covered. Um, if you don't though, just use it as a base maybe, and then go from there. Don't use it and then add parts or whatever. All right, but use this, like learn from it. So you can see that there are no extra steps. She's made sure that the correct leg always ends in front and use that as your guide. But we'll have a look at level six. Are there any other questions on whether you to choose compulsory or optional? No, no, nah. just choose it amongst your club or your head coach might decide for you. Um, have a look at your kids or the number of kids you have in your group. If you have 20 kids, maybe go compulsory.